Hi guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com. We are over here at the Intel press event and they were just telling us about their new uh, Matfield strategy for tablets and smartphones. So I'm not sure if it's kind of blasphemy when I'm showing up with a new Asus Pio 1 522 based on the AMD C50. So that's the same processor that we already saw on the Toshiba and the 520D that we just uh, reviewed a couple of days ago. Um, let's take a quick look around the system. On the left side we have a PSU connector VGA out, two USB 2.0 HDMI out, there are a couple of status LEDs and that's it for the front and on the right side we have a 4 one card reader, jacks for the headset, microphone, USB 2.0, Kensington key lock and an Ethernet connector. Let's take a quick look at the bottom. This only comes with a 3 cell battery so I would guess this lasts between one and a half hours and two hours. So whoever made this up, I have no idea but you know what? Just get him out of your R&D office or out of your product development team because this makes no sense at all. It's a 10.1 inch display, 1024 by 600 is the resolution. We have a 1.3 megapixel camera, comes with one gigabyte of RAM. You can upgrade it up to four gigabytes of RAM, by the way. 250 gigabyte hard disk drive and Windows 7 starter edition. Kind of integrated trackpad kind of riffled uh, single mouse button, this uh, Schicklet keyboard, very small function keys I have to say, I, it's very hard to uh, to hit a single one of it, um, but besides that it's, it's, it's very slim, as you can see it has a, a glossy lid here, it's obviously very light because of this 3 cell battery and it should be very cheap, right, I, I don't know for how much they're selling it, but anyways, it's, it's just not going to work if it's only a 3 cell battery, I like the product design, the build quality is very good, so this is uh, like, like an Acer Inspire 1 522 of all, the whole 520 is a series and um, yeah, besides that, uh, first impression, good build quality, we know about the platform performance and we know about the TDP, so it's not going to work out with the 3 cell battery, sorry Acer, this is Sasha from NetbookNews.com, over here at MWC in Barcelona, thanks for watching.